Welcome. Uh, thank you, everybody, for um, for coming on and for joining us. Um, good morning to those of you in the U.S., good afternoon in Europe and in Asia, good evening. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, we're trying to keep this, uh, going to try to keep it short, informative, and sweet. And today we're going to hear uh, from Michael Furness. Um, Michael is um, uh, uh, at Coca-Cola. He is uh, the head of QA uh, for the Bottling Investment Group. Michael has been at Coca-Cola for uh, 17 years and uh, uh, has uh, seen a number of things, a number of roles at Coke, but today you know, he runs uh, uh, the QA function uh, in one of the business units. So he's going to talk about his experience uh, looking at quality and looking at it uh, uh, from a structural standpoint with um, uh, mostly the SAP uh, implementation that Coca-Cola has, which is one of the biggest uh, custom SAP implementations in the world. Um, and uh, we are very uh, grateful, Michael, for your time to, to have you here and really appreciate you uh, coming on and sharing your experience. Uh, with us. So uh, with that, um, Michael, over to you. Thanks, Lev. Um, hi, I'm Michael Furness. As I mentioned, I'm the Software Quality and Testing Center of Excellence Director for the Bottling Investment Group. Um, hopefully you can see the slides progressing as I go through here. I'll explain what the Bottling Investments Group is. The Bottling Investments Group at Coca-Cola, we purchase struggling, independent, and franchise Coca-Cola bottlers outside of the United States. We improve their efficiency through proven common processes and tools, and then once we get them successful again, we sell them off to our larger franchise bottlers, uh, many of which we own a non-controlling interest in. Uh, the Bottling Investment Group bottlers, those that we do currently own, generate about $10 billion in global revenue for the company each year. We own or have interest in bottlers in 34 countries outside of the United States. And the bottlers that are currently supported by our Coke One Plus SAP Enterprise Solution are in China, the Philippines, South Africa, Germany, Singapore, Malaysia, Germany, and India, and we're currently implementing in Japan. Um, and just to let you know, the Bottling Investments Group represents a, a one of the three large IT groups in the Coca-Cola global system. We essentially represent the international bottlers. We have a North American bottler IT group doing SAP, and then we have a corporate IT group doing SAP. So we're one of the three big IT functions within the Coca-Cola system. Um, this is right now an organization chart of my organization. I report to the Chief Development Officer of the Bottling Investment Group. Um, in addition to dealing with software quality and, and code quality for our programmers, um, dealing with the automation, uh, testing, all test reporting, and um, all of our testing tools, and change request manager within, solution, uh, within SAP Solution Manager. Um, right now, the out of everybody that's uh, shown up here on this organization chart, everybody below me is outsourced um, for the bottling investment group. Uh, we've chosen to outsource as much of the work as possible. And out of this group, everybody, as you can see down there, all India COE, a uh, few people in Manila and the Philippines with some of our IBM test group, but we are 100% outsourced and offshored for quality and testing. This is a V chart, if everyone can see it, of um, the tools landscape that we use and the, the assortment and how they integrate together of everything that we're using to validate and measure quality within our SAP solutions. Um, we have our, during our analyze phases in our SDLC, where we have a requirements traceability matrix just basically tracked in Excel. Um, we use errors for our business process modeling. Then as we get down into our build phase, uh, the most important one for me to discuss today, we use, we're using CAST for our code quality tool. Um, I'll get into a little bit more of a, a description on it later, uh, obviously. Um, we're using Live Compare from IntelliCorp for our transport impact assessment and then for our testing and, and quality as we go into the delivery phases. Um, we're using HPA LM Performance Center and we use WorkSoft Certify for our automation. Um, down on the bottom, you can see SAP Solution Manager. We are using Charm, Change Request Management, and Solution Manager 7.1 for all of our transport management and all transport creation movement throughout our different systems. Um, 
as uh, before I go to the next slide, giving our, our history with CAST, I will uh, explain we've got four different production landscapes going in for BIG um, because we have a shared instance for the majority of our bottlers. Uh, for data privacy reasons, well, we created a second set of production instances, QA instances, for our German bottler. Um, India, due to legal reasons, came up with a third production instance for us, and we're currently putting in a fourth one for Japan. So so for the source, the source code that we're going to discuss that we're doing they're using for cast for the reviews for, um, we're actually using a single development set of instances and a single set of maintenance maintenance instances to do all of our coding to go out to four separate quality and production landscapes.